What's up, wonderful people? So, I'm at a bit of a crossroads here, like many of us. Like any good nerd, I want to upgrade to Windows 11 when it comes out on my main desktop PC. And I want to check the compatibility and see if my machine is up to snuff. So I'm going to go to Windows 11 ISO. Let's search for that. And then that brings us officially to Microsoft. I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom and download the PC Health Check app. Okay, and there it is. I already have it installed. So I'm going to click Start, and there it is. PC Health Check. Click on that, and it's actually going to open the Health Checker. And I'll do Check Now. And there is indeed TPM 2.0 must be supported on this PC. So if I do see all results, everything else is peachy. Also, this is my Windows updates need attention. So let's fire that up and see what it does. Oh, all right. So here's the deal. I'm going to go ahead and install this, and then I'll shut down the machine, and I have a little surprise for us. All right, so here is the surprise. I managed to get a hold of from Amazon an Asus TPM that's supposed to fit this motherboard. Okay, it's a 14-1. That has to do with the fact that let me see if I can get this here so you can see it. There are 14 or 15 pins. Okay, I'm going to stop myself right here, and I have no idea why I got so confused by this. The reason it's a 14-1, there's 14 pins, not 15, and the dash 1 means that one of the pins is blocked out. It's because there's different standards of TPM, and the different keying makes sure that we don't plug the wrong one into the wrong motherboard. That's uh, pretty simple. But see that one in the top row, the way I'm holding it there, is blank. That makes it a 14-1. Uh, I have no idea why they key them that way or why they settled on that, but there you go. Now I'm going to zoom in here as best I can on my motherboard here. And the um, trying to get this lined up. The hard part is getting light down in here with the camera. But um, basically... I'm going to look here and see where that blank pin is, so it needs to be facing like this, and I'll plug it in down here. Alright, I had it turned the wrong way, because that's something that I like to do. If my head gets in the way, I apologize. But I think it's on there. It's the first time I've ever had a TPM myself. I always just saw them as something that the Enterprise had. Let me zoom out a little bit. If you see the ring light in the shot, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can see it. But uh, basically, if anybody has this same motherboard, which is a Prime Z370A, uh, you can see here's the power supply. If you've got a bottom mounted power supply, and there's the the bottom PCI Express slot. And that TPM header is just right there. So, let's button the machine back up and fire it up. Alright, so here we are. I've plugged the machine back up. It fired right up. And I went into the BIOS on the Prime Z370A, you hit delete or F2, maybe. Anyway, I hit delete and uh, I'm in the advanced view of the BIOS here. And let's see, let's go out to advanced trusted computing and look at that TPM 2.0 device found. And security support, all right, it's got the SHA-256, that's good. 
I don't know a whole lot about this, but, uh, you know, pending operation, I don't know. I'm just going to leave all this as default because I've never had TPM, or I've never used it, I should say. And you can see that I was wrong about the amount of RAM I had. I had 16 gigs in the machine, and it turned out it was a 32 gig kit, so now I've got 48 gigs in this thing. It's ridiculous, but, uh, yeah, so the next time you see this, we'll be back in OBS, and I'll see what I can do about installing Windows 11. All right, here we are, and I've got OBS fired back up. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I haven't tried this yet, but uh, we'll click on Start and go to PC Health Check. Check now. Meets the requirements for Windows 11. Excellent. Okay, device specifications, that's all it says. All right. So, let me figure out how we can actually get Windows 11. I know you can at this point, but the question is, how? Okay, I think I figured out what I had to do. So, first thing, you got to make sure you've got the full diagnostic data turned on. So, in your settings, go to Diagnostics and Feedback Settings. You have to turn on the optional diagnostic data. I don't really like that, but as an early adopter, whatever, and I really don't care. I don't think Microsoft really collects anything that is too deep, you know. So, um, but anyway, do that at your own risk. I mean, clearly, they're collecting some stuff, and it's more than the, the norm. So do that, and then, let's see... I never can find anything in these menus, so then I just typed Insider. We go to Windows Insider Settings and get started. And we got a link and account. <clears throat> I'm going to use this one. Okay, and then let's go to the Release Preview Channel. And let's see if they're going to let me um, do Windows 11. Mm, not yet. So let me reboot and see what happens. So for whatever reason, I haven't been put in the Windows 11 release preview channel. If you look, all it's given me is Windows 10 stuff. There's supposed to be some kind of banner. It may take some time for that to show up. But I don't want to wait. I mean, the idea behind this is to get it a little bit before everybody else. That's fun. So, let me show you how I found the ISO. I googled for this, because I know that's the the uh, release preview ISO. Okay? Right on the Microsoft blog, they have it listed here. So, you say download here. And they make it kind of confusing. Basically, you got to scroll down, and I did join the Insider program, so if I didn't do that, it wouldn't have worked, okay? So now, I go to um, whichever one that I want, which I need the Pro version. I don't see the release preview for 22,000.194, so I'm going to go for simply the... Uh, beta channel and choose English and confirm and uh, yeah here we go 64-bit download directly from Microsoft and this will take a little while but not too long it looks like it's 5.1 gigabytes so I'll be back with you when this gets done alright so it looks like our ISO is uh, downloaded so let's click on it here and install Windows 11. Let's see how this works. It might pitch a fit. I don't know. So far, this looks just like Windows 10. I really haven't followed this like I usually do. I don't know. I've just been really busy. But now that I got the TPM, I can, uh, you know. 
install. I'll be back whenever something reboots. Well, it was done, and it probably took 15 minutes, maybe, from start to finish. The internet was being slow, so it took longer to download it than anything else. Um, all the things that I had pinned are still there, and we've got the widgets bar. I don't really know how much I would ever use that. Um, the new start menu looks nice. I like the pinned features and the recommended is kind of like, I guess, the last thing you opened. I don't know. Um, it's pretty neat. I like the new icons, personally. I like the uh, colors. It's super easy to tell that's a zip folder. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Some people hate these icons. I'm so glad they brought back some color and everything's not the same. I have trouble with um, navigating without color. So, I personally, I kind of like that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's like a different setting down there. That's neat. Um, Here's this little microphone thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so my first impressions are, are pretty good. Uh, the settings app is very much improved. Again, they brought back some colors, so bravo to that, you know. Um, okay, so if you right-click on the little start menu, you do get the power user pop-up, but I've heard some grumbling that the taskbar settings is the only thing it brings up when you right-click, so... Um, which I use a keyboard shortcut to get to task manager and most of this other stuff anyway. So I don't think it's going to bother me. Um, yeah, so that was pretty seamless. And this is a preview build. It got rid of my wallpaper for some reason. So let me go in here to personalize and I'll put the, the default on here. Yeah. Hmm. Well. How about that? All right, so that's that's pretty much it for what I wanted to do with this video. Basically walk you through installing a TPM and then actually upgrading to Windows 11 for the first time. So this was all new to me. All right, guys, if you liked this video or thought it was interesting or helpful, like and subscribe. That way more people can find my stuff, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.